What's up guys? Welcome back to Back Road Drivers. We're the Miser Brothers. I'm Sam. I'm Brad and today we're here at Epic Designs in Knoxville, Tennessee. Behind me we've got Travis and Seth Young, the owners, and we're going to actually talk about the prices of what it costs to wrap and ceramic coat Kong over here and Zilla. A lot of you guys have seen both of these cars so far, especially if you watch our channel. But we're going to break down the numbers because that's something we like to do on this channel. A lot of channels don't actually tell you what they pay for stuff we have had them both ceramic coated by knox auto spa here in the same building and we're going to go through some of that we're also going to show you a few little technical details that we did on these wraps that is a little bit different than the way that the car looked uh, like the stripes they're wider we're going to go through some of that and then we've had the door gems wrapped over the last few days so we're going to show you that as well let's get into it all right they come to us they wanted to do one of the cars in avery one of the cars in 3m material so this one we have the avery fresh spring we did the avery satin black stripes on this one normally your gt stripes we run them about seven inches seven eighths of an inch uh we was kind of looking at the lines of this and wanted to do something a little different change the body lines up a little bit and uh we were me and sam were looking at this front end here and we've seen this box and kind of went off of it and these end up being about 12 inches as a add some some width to the car there and change it up a little bit looks lighter just yeah. a little tougher and we we knew we wanted wider stripes that worked out great and when we looked at cone we could tell that that would look good on that car as well with the same width. Um, you're not trying to match it up to anything. It is a little bit wider than the opening in the grill, but it looks good on there, yeah. and especially wider like that. Yeah, it keeps a little material over, over the sides of it there. So this car here, satin, satin, obviously, this is a little different. We've got gloss over satin. How did we, and I know the answer, but I'm asking you because you're better at talking about this stuff. How? Did we achieve those glossy straps? Yeah, we came with a challenge. Uh, said you all want to do something different, trying to figure out what to do with it. So obviously we put this through a laminator, which we would do with our print material or anything else. And it's just a gloss laminate on top of the same satin gold dust 3M. And it just creates a gloss effect to it, which makes that gold pop out and just added a whole another dimension to it. As you may not know this, but these stripes were going to be gloss black on this car originally is what we were thinking. And these guys came up with this idea, pitched it to us, and it turned out great. <laughs> and with this, seeing the gold popping out in this satin, that's why we kind of thought of maybe bringing the gold out in this. And, and with the wheels into it, this car, more gold you add onto it, it just seems to make it pop a little bit more. So it may need a little accent here or there. Um, We'll talk about that in another video, but we may do a few more accents on this car to make it pop. We're gonna get Seth to talk about door jams on both cars here in just a second. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about money. So a lot of people have asked us since we revealed these cars and we've had them in maybe three or four videos now, how much do these wraps cost? That's gonna vary a lot depending on what city you're in, what part of the country you're in, what type of vinyl you choose. You do not, do not wanna take this on yourself, number one. Number two, you do not want to go somewhere that wants to use cheap vinyl and save a couple hundred bucks on the job. They're going to have a terrible time putting it on. It's going to look like crap. Like we mentioned earlier, one car is Avery, one car is 3M. Those are the two top premier uh, vinyl brands and they're actually going to have the least orange peel in them and they look the best. So for the materials and labor, including the stripes, $3,650 per car. It's quite a bit of money, but if you look at what it would cost to uh, clear bra or any kind of paint protection film that you would put on these if you were to do a whole car That is very expensive. That's more than the cost just to do one car in a, in a clear paint protection to do the whole car Is gonna cost you more than it would cost to wrap both of these cars. Did we get the same protection as a clear bra? No, but we got about half of that protection, but we also got these radical color changes and these cool little design things that we're talking about in this video so it's a lot less protection but a whole lot more flair and enough protection for let's just call it what it is guys they're mustangs so seth's going to talk about door jams and in just a second we're going to talk about the cost to ceramic coat a wrap car and why you would do that um, big thing for me i see a wrap car door jams aren't done which is perfectly fine it's not that much more money in the total price of the wrap. So that 3650 number we talk about, that includes the jams, and this is as much as they could possibly do without taking the doors off. Maybe the doors will come off the Shelby's one day. Uh, but I want Seth to kind of talk through some of the details on here. Um, 
on how they do the jams and why a lot of people don't want to do them. When we started looking at this process and talking to different people, nobody wants to do door jams for some reason, but it definitely caps off your wrap. Yeah, like Brad was saying, a lot of customers come to us and inquire about door jams being wrapped. We do offer that service. We've, we've, uh, we've been through that process on, on many vehicles. Um, it is optional, it is additional, but it's worth it because a lot of people have that issue of wanting to open their car door and the color be the same on the inside paint as the exterior. Uh, both of these cars uh, came in factory white paint and obviously the, the fresh spring color is a darker color and it's, it's, there's more of a contrast with some cars and depending on the color you choose for your wrap. Um, door jams can be more or less of a concern. So while the wrap process was going on, Epic came up with some really neat design features. You always want that little bit of wow factor, especially for a YouTube car. It's gonna be at a lot of shows. It's getting photographed all the time. So I'm gonna show you something that's on both Kong and Zilla. We've got an underlay YouTube symbol on the gas cap. It's subtle, it doesn't jump out at you really big, but if you're walking around this car at a gas station while we're pumping, that stands out and it's a really cool feature. Uh, let's go look at something over on Zilla. Another cool thing that the guys came up with on this car is red snake eyes, and that's about all I got to say. There are, there are four Cobras on this vehicle, and all of them have painted on red snake eyes, which look incredible. When you're walking around this car, it's just that one extra detail that makes you say, wow. There's a lot of car guys that work here, so they kept coming up with neat little car guy ideas, and so we took one set of the spokes and covered them in the same vinyl as what's on the car. There's a lot of different contours there, so you end up with like a different look than this a lot of times. A lot of people don't even notice it. At the show that we were at, at Ponies in the Smokies, where this car was, I just sat back and listened to folks. I didn't have any back road driver merch on, so we don't have any yet. Y'all want some back road driver merch? Let, me, let us know in the comments if you want some back road driver merch. We're working on that. Um, this right here is just a little pop and it gives this car something a little bit different where you just have normal black wheels. A lot of people love normal black wheels. I love the gold wheels on Kong. I love this little pop of flare on the GT500 on Zilla. So we mentioned ceramic coating. Uh, Knox Auto Spa uses SB3 products. It's not a consumer product, so most people can't buy it. You have to be a dealer. We coated both cars. It makes it a lot easier to clean, especially on these satin cars. They seem to show a lot. Um, when you don't have them coated, so like no wax or anything on them as soon as we got them done and to get them clean is a little tougher. When you glass coat or ceramic coat, whatever somebody wants to call it, it's a five year, if you get that package, they've got seven year coatings as well. Uh, we've got uh, 1,050 in each car. Uh, you can spend up to like 12 or 1,300 if it's a truck that you've got wrapped that you wanna seal. Now, let me preface that. If you bring a painted car into any shop and you want it glass coated, or ceramic coated, you're not gonna get it done for that price probably because even if you have a brand new car or truck that's straight off of a train or a transport hauler, it's already scratched, it's already got stuff wrong with it. They're gonna have to do paint correction before they can start that glass coating process because if they glass coat over the top of scratches, the scratches are gonna be under there. So on a wrap car, we didn't have many scratches in this so they didn't have to do the correction. So it's more of a standard number if you wanna have one, a wrapped car that you've just had wrapped, coated. And it's gonna make these a whole lot easier for us to keep clean. But they didn't just do the wrap surface, they did all the black plastics, all the everything. So it should be a whole lot easier to keep these clean and be able to do videos with them. Guys, put all your questions you have about the car wraps themselves and the glass coating down in the comments. The guys at Knox Auto Spa and Epic Designs are gonna monitor those and try to get you some good answers if you have any. They're smarter than us. They actually do this day in and day out and they have all the answers that you're gonna need. That's right. Sam and I are gonna jump in these cars and go get some dinner. Thanks for watching the video. Catch another one right now. There's an entire playlist on both Kong and Zilla and all of our other builds. Sam's got a 21 F-150 that we've done a build on. We've got a supercharged F-150 of 2018. We've got a 96 Bronco build and we've got more cars coming to the channel soon. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace.